Andy Klein, WCN-TV.com. Uh, plankton reserves have declined 40 to 70 percent around the world, and whales help regenerate plankton by injecting their feces. Uh, at the same time, an estimated 400,000 tons of carbon is taken from the air due to whale feces, therefore fighting climate change and global warming. Uh, and lastly, because I could go on and on with this, uh, over 160 dead zones, some as large as 70,000 square kilometers exist in our oceans. Mm -hmm. Our oceans are broken. Mm -hmm. So um, going from what we know about this, don't we need whales to make up for the imbalance of our broken oceans? Don't we need more whales in the wild, in the oceans, than out? Mm -hmm. This is called uh, ecosystem approach to the uh, uh, ocean management. And um, uh, on the other hand, the uh, traditional way of deciding the catch quota based on the stock size or uh, fish uh, abundance size is called a single species management. And uh, even the IWC is moving toward the uh, uh, ecosystem approach where uh, they look the interaction between different species and the interaction with the environment. And uh, increasingly in the ocean management, uh, we try to keep the level of particular animal, whales or fish or uh, planktons, uh, so that their role in the ecosystem will be uh, kept. And the, uh, in that case, so-called harvesting quarter uh, might be uh, smaller than the numbers under the so-called single species uh, management approach. And we accept that. And uh, we promote this uh, ecosystem approach uh, in the uh, ocean involving whales. And Japan has been uh, proposing and submitting uh, some prototype of uh, uh, ecosystem models to our uh, International Whaling Commission. So I agree with your uh, way of thinking. But oftentimes, the, this issue is also used or uh, presented as black and white. Uh, because whales contribute to the environment this way, you shouldn't take not uh, one animal. Uh, our way of thinking is uh, if uh, IWC or uh, adopt the ecosystem approach, and, uh, and it, it is clear that uh, whales are contributing uh, to, uh, uh, to addressing the issue of global warming or any other environmental changes, there should be some optimum number. Uh, but that does not uh, uh, preclude uh, utilization of animals in our mind. And there might be a higher uh, hurdles for uh, setting a quota, but that, again, is uh, different from the argument that because this uh, particular animal uh, contribute to this particular part of a, uh, con uh, environmental conservation, you shouldn't touch it. It's almost the same as like an uh, automobile uh, emits a uh, uh, gas uh, exhaustion or global warming uh, gases. So they are harming the environment. So would you say then we should stop all the automobiles to be used? We try to reduce the emission. We try to reduce the number rather than prohibit it. But somehow, in the case of a whaling dispute, and sometimes in other situations, uh, always a uh, uh, so-called solu so solution is sought as a total prohibition or black and white or dichotomy discussion. And uh, unfortunately, the world is not that simple. <laughs>